This says, consider an economy with two goods X and Y. Let X, uh, let the utility function be given by, so this is a usual Cobb Douglas utility function, which is given by A root XY, where A is greater than zero, or X is greater than equal to zero, and X is the amount of good X and Y is the amount of good Y, and you're also given a budget equation. So budget equation is Px into x plus Py into y less than or equal to income of the consumer. It says Px and Py are equal to each other. So Px is equal to Py. Tell me something. I'll do it through the long method also. But just tell me something. When we talk about um, Cobb Douglas preferences, we have learned something. If my Cobb Douglas preference is just xy or root xy, whatever, something like that. So, so or let, let's take even a general one x to the power alpha, y to the power beta. When my utility function is like this, can you tell me what was x star y star? x star was alpha upon alpha plus beta m by px. And y star was beta upon alpha plus beta m by py right now in this case um, if i talk about my utility function a is just a monotonic transformation i have just gone ahead and multiplied it with something that does not change anything right a is just a monotonic transformation my original utility function is just root xy so if i talk about my original utility function beta root xy then this can simply be written as x to the power half and y to the power half. So alpha and beta both are half. So if I just take it here, this is going to be half upon half plus half is 1, m by px. And this will be half upon half plus half is 1, m by py. So beta my x star, x star is going to be m by 2px. And y star is going to be m by 2py. And if px and py are equal to each other, say let's equal to p, then I will just get my x star as m by 2p. And y star also as m by 2p. So x star and y star will be equal to each other. They are equal, right? So it will be the case that x star and y star are in fact equal to each other that's that's your um that's the first thing right but supposedly it does not hit you like this through the cop douglas function then also it is simple just go ahead and apply the lagrange so what will be your lagrange i want to go ahead and maximize my utility function and i want to make it subject to a budget constraint so my utility function is a root x, y, right? And uh, my budget constraint is plus lambda. And this is going to be m minus px into x minus py into y, right? This is, this is what is there, right? So if I just differentiate this with respect to x, I will get a, so, so basically, you could have done it through third method also, where you would have equated MRS to PX by PY. These are all synonymous. We have done it multiple times in class. They are all equivalent to each other. So root Y into 1 by 2 root X plus lambda into minus PX equal to 0. Similarly, when you will go ahead and differentiate this with respect to Y, you will get a so root x remains at this and differentiation of root y will become 1 by 2 root y plus 
lambda minus p y equal to zero. So when you will divide, just solve these equations, a by two y by x under root is equal to lambda p x. And then the other equation is a by two x by y under root is equal to lambda p y. When you will just divide these two equations, you will divide these two equations, you are going to get y by x is equal to px by py. This is your equation that you will get. I am trying to maximize my utility. I have differentiated this with respect to x. I have differentiated this with respect to y. I am trying to maximize my utility. So I just get out of those two conditions that y by x should be equal to px by py. If you remember from our class, actually we concluded from here that we, we made multiple, multiple uh, interpretations out of it. So you have to just remember the, all those interpretations from our class, okay? But now the question says that px is equal to py. This is what is given to us, that px and py are equal to each other, does not matter, right? Whether both of them actually are equal to one or greater than one. They are equal to each other. So if they're equal to each other, I can just say that Px and Py can cancel out. So if Px is four, Py is also four, right? So if I just equate the two Px and Py equal, I will get Y star is equal to X star, right? This is what I will get. That I will be consuming X and Y in equal quantity. So the answer to this question is, it must always be in this case that x star and y star will be equal to each other. That's the answer.